tearful Holly Willoughby was forced to contact a lawyer after false reports of her cue jumping to see the Queen flooded Twitter. The This Morning presenter and her co-presenter Philip Schofield have been the target of vicious backlash after people falsely accused the two of jumping the queue to watch the Queen's lying in state at Westminster Hall last week. A petition was even created to remove Holly and Philip as hosts, despite the two explaining they did not queue jump and were using official permission that was strictly for reporting as they are accredited journalists. The presenting duo addressed the controversial situation during Tuesday's episode of This Morning and explained they never took anyone's place. However, some people claim the statement wasn't good enough as they didn't directly apologize for the incident. A source came to her defense and said Holly would be the first to hold her hands up and quit if she disrespected the public. She was doing her job but has been portrayed as enemy number one, while Phil has been subject to embarrassing memes, they said to The Sun. Holly had to get lawyers over the weekend over the presentation of this false, very damaging narrative. They added that Holly won't be quitting her job on the show as she and Phil both love this morning. Sources told The Mirror Holly did speak to a lawyer over the weekend but she has decided not to engage a law firm full-time. During Tuesday's episode of This Morning, the duo started the show with a segment of video clips as they marked the past 10 days following the Queen's passing. They also referenced the backlash and said they went to the lying in state to show all the people who were unable to attend Westminster Hall. Holly and Philip went on to insist they never took anyone else's place and would never jump the queue. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight into your inbox. Sign up for the free Mirror Showbiz Newsletter. We were given official permission to access the hall, it was strictly for reporting on the event for millions of people in the UK who haven't been able to visit Westminster in person, Holly said in a pre-recorded voiceover. She added, the rules were, that we would be quickly escorted around the edges to a platform at the back. In contrast, those paying respect stood on a carpeted area beside the coffin and were given time to pause. None of the broadcasters or journalists there took anyone's place in the queue and no one filed past the Queen. However, she admitted they understood the backlash surrounding them being at the lying in state. We, of course, respected those rules. However, we realized it may have looked like something else and therefore totally understand the reaction. Please know we would never jump the queue, Holly concluded. The likes of Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid even defended the two, with Susanna saying that it was for work. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs of Mirror. UK or call us direct at 0207 29